Uh, I think the biggest game changer I've seen is around the blockchain uh, technologies. Um, and, and those startups are, are, are here. Um, there's, there's more that aren't here yet. Um, and that's, that's a good example of something that we've seen outside of industry. So in financial services, um, blockchain being very, very hot right now and its applicability to, uh, to, uh, to healthcare. Uh, unfortunately, it's, it's new. Um, it's not, it's not a, a common HIT uh, uh, known term at this point. Uh, but I think uh, by this time next year, we'll, we'll definitely see that as a potential game changer. How do you see it being applied in healthcare, as, I guess as far as like portability of information? Well, I think it changes the game related to, uh, to data access by the patient, um, to interoperability, uh, not just within a facility but, um, and, and across departments, but across facilities themselves. So uh, blockchain has, has a real potential to imp and frankly a real uh, potential to imp impact the exchange markets. So, um, so I, I, I think blockchain is going to be a hot topic here for the next couple of years. But it's possible that blockchain technologies can actually begin to replace some of the functions of the core electronic health records. And uh, so I think you're going to start to see you know, the movement of these technologies. Mm -hmm. and, the, and the question came up is, you know, is the U.S. going to be a leader or a laggard in these technologies? Because we've already kind of advanced ourselves with some of the core capabilities. So what the, what the thing we really need to look out for is what's going to happen in countries like India, China, uh, Asia Pacific nations, uh, emerging European markets. Those are the ones that we really need to watch because I have a feeling they will be the ones who advance the technology of the blockchain into industrial strength capabilities to potentially replace EHRs.